Hey everyone, welcome to another video. We've got another shoe review today. This is the Mad Rock Remora, which is a new shoe to their line. It's the first slipper that they've ever done. And it's meant to compete with the likes of the 510 Moccasin, uh, La Sportiva Speedster. So I'm gonna go through some of the specs and then tell you what we think. So it's a pretty simple design. It's a flat lasted shoe, although it's kind of asymmetric so you can drive a little bit more power into the toe, which is noticeable. Um, you've then got a synthetic upper, this is Synthflex, um, so barely any stretch to this shoe, um, but of course you've got a little Velcro um, closure system here. Um, and then you've got Science Friction Rubber encasing the shoe. Um, it's unlined, and that's about it really. Um, so what do we think? Well, certainly like all Mad Rock shoes, for the price, you're getting quite a lot. It's a fantastic all-rounder, it edges really well, you feel like your foot is supported and as I said before, driving power down into the toe and standing on very small pieces, it definitely works. Um, does it compete well with the moccasin? I would say probably not. Um, the main issue I have with the shoe is the toe round here, which is massive as you can see and obviously it's great for toe scumming and, and toe dragging, but it's just a little bit too harsh. In other words, with any slipper design, obviously it's important that you downsize appropriately, so you know you, you, your toes are kind of curled up at the end, because there's no closure system, and like the moccasin and the speedster, you really have to get a snug kind of bouldering fit to make sure you can stand on these small pieces. And this rubber here, it's just a little bit too thick and, and unforgiving because when the, when the toes are in there, they're scrunched up, but of course this rubber doesn't flex. And you get a lot of hot spots around the toes, particularly on the big toe, and, and it just feels a bit crammed. Now on the Speedster and on other shoes, uh, like the 510 VXI, the uh, rubber around the toes is slightly thinner which means that the rubber can flow over the toes nicely and the knuckles of the toes, so you don't get that kind of crunchy feeling, but you do with the remora, so that would be my main gripe with it. The other thing is, I don't know if you can see this you know, appreciably on camera, but the midsole is very wide, it's a very broad shoe, and this is a size nine in the UK, and this is probably the broadest midsole that I've ever seen, and I'm not sure why they've done that, maybe it's for comfort reasons, but it, it just doesn't, feel like the, the shoe is hugging my foot quite enough and I've got a normal foot, I've not got a broad foot or a skinny foot so that's the other problem with it. Having said that, for the price it's it's a pretty good all-rounder. It does the job, perfect for gym climbing. Um, if you have a little bit more money I would really suggest you check out the Moccasin or the Speedster um, but as I said, for the money, Remora is great. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.